Oh, Hadassah was a big part of our life here. Um, uh, Henrietta Zoll uh, was coming to Texas and she was not received in Houston and so my aunt welcomed her to come to Wharton and I think they said it was the third chapter in the state of Texas and it formed here because there was a small nucleus of women. I think there had to be uh, 12 people. There were nine ladies and they had three children uh, who later, who was uh, uh, Margie, later Margie Wadler and Beatrice Zeidman and Mary Rosenfield from El Campo. And they were very young children, so they made them members of Hadassah. And so the chapter was formed. And there's a lady here who has a set of minutes that they took from the 20s when they used to collect a dollar and a half in dues and from, not from each one, but I mean, it was 50 cents or 25 cents a piece, and they would meet, and uh, there is a letter from Henrietta Zoll in the 30s where she is celebrating the 25th anniversary of Hadassah and commenting about the group that she met with and started the chapter here. We, uh, we packed clothes. Mama would go to the uh, funeral home and get the boxes that uh, coffins came in, wooden boxes at that time, and we would fill it with clothes to send to Israel. Well, finally, I think they told us, you know, the temperature and everything is so different, they really needed money more than they needed clothes, but we did that for many years. And their big event, and people still talk to me about it, they had a Valentine coffee. And my mother would get on the phone early in the morning and start calling around to the businesses to make sure they came. And they would come and have coffee and a Danish and visit. And, uh, that, was the, that was their big fundraiser. They got a letter some years ago telling them that they were not going to assign them a quota anymore because they realized how few people they were. Well, they were quite indignant and wrote back and said, there are enough people here to raise money. You give us a quota and we'll meet it. We're about to decide. We really think we we can't go on. They're, they're really, there's just four of us left. And I said, well, maybe we should wait till Hadassah's 100th birthday. That's in 12 and, and have a farewell, a farewell for our one chapter then, but we've always worked very hard for Hadassah. It's been very, very important to us.